This meeting is being recorded. All right. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to Roots Week 2020, uh, the fierce urgency of now. Thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get started, let's have our language justice partners, Banchas Lenguas, walk us through the language access. Hola, buenos días. Uh, para los que nos acompañan hoy, por favor sepan que estamos proveyendo interpretación del español al inglés y del inglés al español. Para acceso de lenguaje, por favor envíen un mensaje al chat de transmisión en vivo y nuestro equipo técnico les enviará un enlace al cual pueden acceder. Hi there, good morning. For our viewers watching the live stream, please know that we are providing interpretation from Spanish to English and from English to Spanish. For language access, please send a message in the live stream chat and our tech team will send you a link for access. Saludos, mi nombre es Judith, mis pronombres son ella, ella, y estoy aquí con mi compa y cointerprete, Lila, sus pronombres son ella, ella, somos miembros del colectivo de justicia del lenguaje, Bancha Lenguas, basado en Bulbancha, Luisiana, aka New Orleans. So greetings, my name is Yudi and my pronouns are she and they. I am joined today by my comrade and co-interpreter Lila, also pronouns she and they. We are members of Bancha Lenguas Language Justice Collective based in Bulbancha, Louisiana, also known as New Orleans. Bulbancha is the palabra Chocta, que significa la tierra donde se habla muchos lenguajes. Bulbancha is the Choctaw word, which means the land where many languages are spoken. Como trabajadores de justicia del lenguaje, nos enforzamos a crear un espacio para que todos aquí presentes puedan entender y ser entendidos en el idioma en que nos sentimos más poderosos. As language justice workers, we strive to create a space for everyone here to understand and be understood in the language in which we feel most powerful. Please speak at a, low, a slow and steady pace. If you are speaking too fast, you will see us do this signal, which means to slow down. Uh, we invite you to do this as well. It may be hard to see us on your screen, so we ask that you please keep an eye on the chat in case we send a message asking you to slow down. So, por favor, hable a un paso lento y constante. Si estás hablando muy rápido, no, nos verá hacer una señal de manos que significa ir más despacio. Invitamos a que lo hagan también. Es posible que sea difícil vernos en tu pantalla, así que pedimos que le echen un ojo al chat por si enviamos un mensaje pidiendo que vayas más despacio. Speak loudly and clearly. If you have headphones with a mic, uh, please use them. We will make this hand signal uh, if we can't hear you. You're all invited to do the same and we'll also send a message on the chat. So, habla en voz clara, alta y clara. Si tienes audífonos con micrófono, utilízalos. Haremos esta señal con la mano si no, puedes, si no podemos escucharte. Están invitados a hacer lo mismo y también enviaremos un mensaje al chat. Please keep your mic on mute if when you're not speaking. Mantén tu micrófono en silencio si no estás hablando. just got muted. <laughs> Please uh, speak one person at a time. Uh, the interpreters can only interpret one voice at a time, and we don't want to be in a position where we have to decide which voice to privilege over the other. So una persona a la vez, les intérpretes solamente pueden interpretar una voz a la vez, y no queremos estar en la posición de tener que decir cuál voz privilegiar sobre otra. Y ahora vamos a encender la plataforma de la, para la interpretación. And now we will turn on the interpretation platform. Si estás usando una computadora, vas a ver un icono de globo al pie de tu pantalla con la palabra interpretación. Haz clic sobre él y selecciona el canal de tu lenguaje preferido, inglés o español. 
If you are using a computer, you will see a globe icon at the bottom of your screen with a word interpretation. Click on it and select the channel with a language of your choice, English or Spanish. Si están usando un teléfono inteligente o una tableta, busca tres puntos que lee más, haz clic y te aparecerá una lista. Haz clic sobre la interpretación, selecciona inglés o español y luego haces clic sobre finalizar. And if you are using a smartphone or tablet, look for three dots that read more. Click on it and this will prompt a list. Click on interpretation, select English or Spanish and then click done. Entonces, cuando hagan su selección, verán una opción para silenciar audio original y que le permite escuchar solo la voz de la intérprete. Si deseas escuchar el audio original a un volumen más bajo en el trasfondo, puedes quitarlo del modo de silencio. Puedes regresar en cualquier momento para cambiar tu selección. And everyone, when making your selection, you will see an option to mute original audio. It allows you to hear only the voice of the interpreter. If you would like to hear the original audio at a lower volume in the background, you may leave it unmuted. And you may go back at any moment to change your selection. All right, we'll be assigned interpreters now and see you all on the other side. Thank you all. Y ahora vamos a asignarnos intérpretes. Lo vemos en el otro lado. Thank you. Thank you, Bancha. We appreciate you growing with us. And if you're watching on live stream, and if you're not bilingual English and Spanish, we invite you to join the Zoom webinar link in the chat. Um, my name is Lisa Shadek. Uh, my preferred pronouns are she and her. Um, I am a theater maker. Um, I am a white woman with brown hair, uh, tried to pile it on top of my head. I'm wearing a shirt that's green and yellow and black that is one of my favorites. Um, and I'm happy to be here with y'all. Uh, our roots mission, our alternate roots mission is Alternate Roots is an organization based in the Southern United States whose mission is to support the creation and presentation of original art in all its forms, which is rooted in a particular community of place, tradition, or spirit. As a coalition of cultural workers, we strive to be allies in the elimination of all forms of oppression. Roots is committed to social and economic justice and the protection of the natural world and addresses these concerns through its programs and services. Alternate Roots is supported by the generous donations from our gracious members, private individuals and funders, including the National Endowments for the Arts, Ford, Mellon, Cerdna and the Doris Duke Foundation. If you're watching the live stream and you want to be engaged, click on the bubble in the upper right corner of the video and that will activate the chat stream. If you're having any tech issues, reach out in the chat and we'll have someone assist. Um, our gender equity work group reminds us to change our profile or chat names to include our pronouns. So please do that. And as we grow th through the work of decolonization, We invite you to learn with us about the lands where we currently live and build relationships at the speed of trust as we move from land acknowledgement to action. As you're adding your pronouns to the profile name, drop in the chat where you're zooming from. If you know the names of the indigenous people who are stewards of the land you're currently occupying, drop that into the chat too. And if not, we invite you to learn more about land acknowledgement. Quick reminder that no matter how Roots convenes, whether we're in a physical space or virtually, we do so under the guidance of community agreements, and we will drop the link into the chat for your reference. Our wellness team reminds us to take care of ourselves while we're in this virtual space. So get some water, get a snack, take breaks, and be good to your body during Roots Week. All right, I think I got all the announcements. Let's get the session started. Uh, we first we have a grounding with Zachary Kopkin. Hey y'all, can you hear me? All good, cool. Hey, I'm Zach Kopkin. I use he/him pronouns. I'm calling in from Forest City, North Carolina, occupied territory, Cherokee people. Um, Describe my appearance. Um, I'm a white Jewish man 
in my bedroom at home with this old banjo here that um, I got here in Rutherford County, North Carolina. It's about 100 years old. Um, and it's got a real nice little um, guard here with some inlay stuff, all kind of crafty things. Um, and I'm going to play for you a little medley of uh, spiritual songs that are meaningful to me, um, starting with um, the old tune, Water is Wide. Some of y'all might recognize it. You're welcome to sing or move or do whatever. Um, uh, and then I'll follow that with, um, boy, I'm blanking on the name. Um, uh, I'll Fly Away. I'm sure many of y'all know that song as well. Um, I heard uh, uh, um, Louisiana um, jazz band play that many months ago. I saw it on YouTube for um, just just to um, to grieve for all the folks that we've lost uh, through COVID and everything else this year. And it, and it really moved me and I wanted to learn it on banjo. And then uh, finally, a song called Dayenu, which is a Jewish song um, sung on Passover or Pesach. Um, and uh, that was my great aunt's favorite song, Matriarch of My Family um, in Atlanta, where I grew up. Um, that was her favorite song, and she passed away earlier this year, so I play that in honor of her. Um, I'm not going to sing or anything, so y'all feel free to, to add on however you like.
Lisa, I think you muted yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Zachary. And um, next, we're going to hear from Spirit. Peace, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Spirit Paris McIntyre here. My pronouns are spirit, they, and them. And I am a black, transgender, gender expansive person. I'm slightly built. I have, I'm wearing a um, fedora, a gray fedora with a white feather and a button up, um, a pattern button up. And I'm sitting behind my cello. I'm in the front room of my home and behind me is a teal wall and a little bit of pink and white curtain and I have some art on the walls and there's a door, the front door to my apartment is behind me. I'm so grateful to be here with you all today and I'm gonna share a couple of songs with you. The first one is new, 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 new. Um, you're the first community that's getting to hear it and I wrote it uh, with this offering in mind. And uh, the first song is called Accomplice. And I want to share with you a working definition that Raven Crane and I used in our Deconstructing Gender Workshop. Accomplice, it's a verb. A person willing to get their hands dirty. They are not a spectator. They are an active participant. One who is consistently learning and unlearning. They are willing to be accountable for their intentions and actions. Two, one who is chosen from the community they're desiring to accomplish for. Three, a person willing to try and fail. They are open to correction, understanding it as care. It is a necessity for their growth. So accomplice. participant, one who is consistently a necessity for their growth. When I see something that disturbs my spirit, I will say something. Oh God, you can't touch anything. And when I hear a language that oppresses another, I will say something. Oh, when I learn something that can free another, I must do something. Cause the knowing is in the doing, and the doing leads to improving. Have you ever met a gardener with no dirt under the nails? I don't trust them. Or a carpenter who 
who's never had a splinter, I don't trust them. But what about a fighter that has never had a shiner? I don't trust them. Cause the knowing is in the doing. And the doing leads to improving. Interrupt oppression every time you see it. Interrupt oppression every time you hear it. Interrupt oppression every time you feel it. Interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. oppression one by one I will remove the roots of oppression four by four and I will remove the roots of oppression ten by ten everybody happy sunday it's peace and the second and last song that i will do is called freedom song some of you all may have heard it before indy um requested this one so indy this is for you tg and c siblings this is for you um my fellow freedom fighters this is for you Freedom song all day and 
freedom, freedom. Wow, thank you, Spirit. Much appreciation, much gratitude, especially here in the new song, too. So great. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I feel so moved. Uh, let's see. I think we're ready now. I hope everybody's feeling ready to start this session, to jump right in. Um, so much appreciation for Spirit and Zachary. Now we're ready. The session is Multimedia Visual Art Making to Quiet the Mind. So we're welcoming Taria and Chanel. So let's go. Hello, hello. So uh, welcome to Vibe and Scratch. My name is Taria Person, the realest person. I go by she, he, they. And I'm Chanel, and I go by she, hers. And I'm going to pass it to my love so she can tell you why today is a special day for us. It's our anniversary, our first year wedding anniversary. Yeah, yep. Yay. And um, this day, six years ago, we became a couple. Five years ago, we became engaged. And last year was our, our, our wedding. So we uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad that we could share this experience with y'all. So uh, gratitude. Just to go into a little, and, and thank you, I see a lot of congratulations thank uh, you. in the chat. So um, what we're doing today, Vibe and Scratch. So we're going to do some scratch art. Um, it's called scratch boarding. It's also known as scraper board art. Um, it originated in the 19th century in Europe, but became extremely popularized in America um, around 1930s. So Sometimes you'll see a lot of this uh, scratch uh, scratch art in the Harlem Renaissance with a lot of those artists. Um, it became really popularized in the scientific, medical, and just reproduction uh, industry. It was a very popularized way to uh, communicate, to advertise, and so on and so forth. But it is fine art mixed with illustration, and we're going to be doing some of that today. So uh, we... I stopped sharing as soon as my video was over. No problem. So uh, before we start uh, a YouTube video, just to kind of like show you how to start your scratch board, I wanted to show you some of the pieces that uh, I've created here. Um, if you see here, it's like this is crayon and just a, uh, a cardboard, right? So um, it adds a lot of texture to your art. Um, we also have this, like I call this third eye, but there's a lot of cross hatching and hatching techniques that are used here as well. And also we have a tree here. So yeah, like I said, you can always recycle uh, boards as well. But to go ahead and get our boards prepped, we're going to go ahead and share a video, a YouTube video, just to show you how we went about creating our scratch boards. Okay, just you can go ahead and play that YouTube video, please. Okay, well, I guess while we're waiting on the YouTube video to get put up, uh, I guess we can go through some of the material that you can use to do your scratch board. So we have a crayon. Oh, you want oh, okay, go ahead. 
And I'm dropping in there. Remember that when we're on the Zoom and live streaming, we have to watch the videos on the live stream. So it's playing on the live stream. I just dropped it in the chat. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. So this is our background. These are the colors we want to show through. And then the trick, you're going to take your black and cover the whole thing. Press really hard. Many crayons are broken doing this project. And I'm just using a skewer. You could use a toothpick. Anything with a point will scratch into it. A popsicle stick will have a thick line. This has a nice rounded edge and then a nice point for a small line. You could do a bullseye. Cover it with black. And then you can take your stick and you could draw any kind of design in there. Now you can kind of see what we can do with this technique. So let's do a larger drawing. I think it looks cool when you have a lot of different colors behind it, but you can do whatever you want. And then I might just take a color that I like, put it around the edges. Then cover the whole thing with black. Okay, so the less color you have shining through here, the better. Also, if you're doing this with a class, you might want to do it small. Cover it up as best you can. Grab your drawing tool and draw whatever you want in there. I'm going to draw an owl and give you an idea of what this looks like. Okay, so hopefully you, this gave you a good idea of what you can do with it. So all you need is some crayons and something to scratch with. If you don't have a toothpick, you can always just use your fingernail. So that is how you make your own scratch board using crayons. There's tons of things you can do with crayons. So if you have any more ideas or suggestions, please feel free to write them below for other people that are watching this video. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube. Coolio. So uh, now that you've seen a little bit uh, how that person was able to use tools, um, we want to show you what we're going to be using today. So we actually have some toothpicks here. This is actually one of my favorite scratch tools to use. You can always go purchase scratch utensils and tools, but I find it like handy to use things that you already kind of like have. You can also use a mechanical pencil. Uh, just make sure that the lead is not exposed. Just use the, the black piece here at the top. Or if you don't have any of that material, you can always use stuff you have around the house. We all have change in your couch or in your pocket. So you can use a penny, a quarter, or um, a thumbtack as well, because they all scratch. It depends on how big uh, or how detailed you want your scratch board to turn out. So with that being stated, we're going to go ahead and go into like one of our first questions uh, that we had here. So in the chat, I would just like to know, like, what are y'all forms of meditation? And we'll set the motto as well so that y'all can uh, answer that question. Like for me, uh, meditation uh, looks like taking a long shower uh, in the bathroom. That's how I come with uh, come up with a lot of my ideas. That's how the muse hits me over uh, a nice cup of coffee or tea, you know, um, looking at nature, just going out on the balcony, inhaling all that goodness. What about you, Milo? Music is definitely my form of meditation, any kind of music, classical music, you know, soul, rap. I mean, I know it's a little raunchy sometimes, but you know, <laughs> get you where you need to be sometimes. Um, so those are different forms of meditation that we like to use and then put it into our art and come up with ideas to do things like scratch boarding and visual arts or um, media arts in general. All right, so I see a few, uh, a few folks when I went ahead and wrote in the chat, we have nature walks. Oh, I love nature walks. Long bike rides. I second that. Yes. 
um, morning gratitude walks. The smell of sweet olive. I don't know what that is. Y'all gonna have to like unmute yourself to. Who is that? Uh, spirit. Yes, yeah, sweet olive is this beautiful like um, flower. It's so tiny. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. But the smell. It's like it makes up for its small size in a big, big smell. So if you ever get to come to New Orleans, I can walk you to a couple of sweet olive trees, but you know when they're nearby. They're so beautifully smelly, like great smell. Well, definitely. When we head back to New Orleans, we'll hit you up. Yeah. Um, thank you for that. Walks in the wood, uh, cooking, love to cook too. That is a, a, a very therapeutic um form of release uh we have standing still yes centering on my feet and my hips and my core and my shoulders and really trying to rest on the ground while i lift up from it yes yes all, all right that. uh musical imp improvisation drinking tea reading a poem out loud to myself Sweet olives, my second that as well. We need to smell these. I'm ready to smell these uh, sweet olives. Sweet olives. <laughs> Watering the plants in the morning. Yeah. I have my granny outside right now. It's a plant that we're like trying to make sure that it like blossoms really big. Um, so yes, watering plants in the morning. Love sweet olive. Okay, we're going to get some sweet olives yes. in our life, in our life. Um, oh, is that Doris? Hey, Doris. Can you unmute yourself and uh, read yours? If, if you don't mind. We also have... Doris, was that you unmuting? You don't have to if you don't, if you don't want to. Cool, cool. All right. Well, those are different forms of meditation that we all use to um, inspire ourselves to do art. And so we're going to use all of those different feelings that we have today to make our scratch boards. And we have uh, two prompts to also think about as well while you're making some ideas for what you want your scratch board to be like. And Teresa is going to share those two prompts that we have. And they are kind of based on our reimagining ideas of uh, Roots Week here. All right, so prompt number one, and for one, uh, this is where we're going to design our own vibe and scratch, okay? So uh, the first prompt is reimagine your happy place, right? Imagine what that is and reimagine it onto the page. Reimagine it via um, a quick sketch or words that are coming to you. And the second prompt is reimagine your world in 2020 without COVID-19. So those are the two prompts that we have. Um, and then as you're thinking about which prompt you want to use, um, we're going to go ahead and start creating our scratch boards. So before uh, we let y'all go into a break room, if you need to, we'll go ahead and start creating a scratch board right now. We already have one prepared, a blank scratch board here. As you see, we have layers and layers and layers of crayon. But uh, we're going to have Chanel here do a demonstration. You have a technique question, Chanel? And yes. A technique question in chat? Uh, with scratch boards, can a different medium be used for the background, such as watercolors or colored pencil, then black crayon over the top for scratching, or does it all need to be in crayon? Great question. And the answer is most definitely. Um, actually, traditional scratch board was with clay and um, linoleum and metal. So uh, a lot of people use acrylic paint as well. But you can use markers, uh, colored pencils. And it'll probably be a lot easier, too, because when you start to work with the crayon, <laughs> you'll, you'll notice it'll, it'll get your muscles going. So if you have colored pencils or markers, that you would like to use for your, your background, feel free to use those as well. Um, Chanel has a colored pencil here. We're gonna be using those We've got in our crayons. So 
And acrylic paint dries really fast. So you can like put a layer of acrylic paint down um, and let it dry to make sure it's a thin layer. And then uh, use the black color crayon. And you don't have to use a black color crayon for your top. You can use any color that you want, light or dark. It still gives the same contrast when you're trying to get your image to pop out. So yes, please use whatever you have or whatever medium of type of that you like to use, color crayons, paints, uh, color pencils, markers, anything. And great, because that was the next question. Uh, does your top color have to be black? No, no. So I've actually used uh, violet, blue. Um, I use white, yellow. I mean, you can really like explore. So as you're looking at your prompt, if there's a color that resonates with you uh, today or just in general, use that color for your top if you, if you would like. Uh, so let's go ahead and... So yeah, I'm gonna, um, so I like, I love to color. Coloring is my thing. So I'm gonna use um, a, some type, all kinds of different reds because I uh, love the color red and it's a power color. If you don't know, I know a lot of times people think red and they think anger, but uh, red actually Target picks the color red and they have their own red because it is a power color. It makes you do things. It makes you shop actually. That's why their whole entire store is red. Um, so I'm going to use all different types of colors of red because um, in the year of 2020, I felt very powerless because of the pandemic and, you know, um, also all the racial things and police brutality and things and everybody's trying to figure out what they can do. And it's kind of hard in this year of time. And so I want to use a bunch of different colors of reds for my base um, because I want to feel empowered today. So that's what I'm going for. So as you're um, getting your colors together, whether it be color crayons, paints, pencils, whatever, pick out colors that you resonate with that make you feel good or feel empowered. Or if you're feeling sad today, use those colors, whatever. We're getting that out as meditation because um, really meditation is to make yourself grounded and to feel good. Most definitely. And um, in the chat here, we have Spirit that said, that they are going to use uh, lipstick. Oh, that's, that's actually a great, really idea. great idea. Lipstick. <laughs> oh, red lipstick? I wish I had some red lipstick right now. <laughs> that's a great idea. Can you both also repeat the prompts once again? Yes, uh, for sure. So prompt one is reimagine your happy place. Whatever that is for you, reimagine it and put that onto your board or your uh, your blank sheet of paper. Um, and the second prompt is reimagine your world in 2020 without COVID-19. And if you look at my screen, um, to read a person, I'm gonna go ahead and show what Chanel is doing here. And as you see, she's like, really, really putting that wax onto this board to ensure that if a layer comes up, that you'll still see that red. You'll see, you'll still see whatever pigment, whatever color that you have selected. Well, this is kind of pinkish, but that's fine. Pink, red, same family, right? <laughs> And as far as your background goes, you can put down squares, circles, whatever shapes come to you. It does not have to be, um, it doesn't have to just be uh, a blank sheet. If you want a blank sheet, you can most definitely uh, do that. I saw in the chat, someone asked, can you just use a white sheet of paper or a black sheet of paper and color your layer on top? You most definitely can. Is that the same for a crayon over whiteboard, Taria? Yeah. Okay. And juice box, while everyone is doing this, you can go ahead and play that first song so that people can get in their vibe while they're scratching out, uh, while they're uh, layering their first layer here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start mine too. And you broke up. How much time will we have in this first section? So in this first. 
first section, um, I would say that this board takes about like it, it takes five to ten minutes, depending on uh, what medium you're using or how so, big it is. Exactly. So if it's a, a very large board, it may take you a little time. If you cut this board into like small little uh, rectangles or squares, the time is going to probably be like five minutes just to go ahead and get everything done. But if you have a very large canvas, it's probably going to take about 10 minutes. So five to 10 minutes. And uh, the music that we're about to play, the music that Sharia actually made, um, and so just the vibe speaks, there's no words, so you can really just marinate on just good words. So get your colors on the bottom and just vibe out to the music and uh, see what you come up with. Tari and Chanel, Doris says that the sound is back on. I don't know if you wanted to go to them. Oh, oh yes. yes, go ahead, Doris. Share and share. with you and get your sound together. Don't worry. And just about yeah. you know, if uh, you have a crayon like this, you can actually take the paper off of the crayon. What I like to do is use the back part, like the flat portion of the crayon, instead of this pointy tip, just in case you need to use that for something else, you know, that needs a defined line. And if you turn it over and use that, you'll be able to cover a lot more surface. So if you see here, you know, just kind of like dig the wax into the board. And you're going to break a lot of crayon. You're going to break it right, y'all. Yes, they do. Broken crayons still color. They most definitely color. Yeah, so while we're actually putting our wax onto this board, I want y'all to think about the prompt that you selected out of those two prompts. Um, and if you need a design, once we get our board down, I have a design that I created for the reimagine, which you can put a cursive my on the inside and make a light bulb just to talk about your idea of what reimagine is. Shift devices, yes. Like right that. Get you to share. And this music that you're able to listen to, like Chanel said, it's called a personal vibe. And this is the first time that anybody is able to, uh, that's been able to hear this music. Um, it's in honor of our anniversary. So um, we have about five tracks that you'll be able to listen to today while you're scratching your heart out. So let's vibe and scratch. This EP is called A Personal Vibe. So, you know. Before we get to that, thank you so much for sharing your um, creations with us. We have one more technical question from Alicia. Could I do this on wood, then spray it with enamel fixative, and would it be permanent? So wood is definitely one of the, the mediums that people use before, like along with metal. And if you do uh, put an enamel on it or anything that's going to kind of like make it waterproof, like uh, polyurethane or something like that, after you have engraved your um, your design into the wood, it's going to stay. It, uh, it'll be permanent. Great question. Great question. So whatever you have at home that you can like sketch, uh, go ahead and do your, your scratch art, you can do that. Like um, there are a lot of people that are recycling aluminum cans. They'll cut the top and the bottom off. Of course, you need to be safe using like uh, gloves to make sure that you don't cut yourself. But if you lay that down, put weight on top of that can, you can actually color a layer of wax or put acrylic paint on top of that, uh, that aluminum to have a flat surface of metal for you as well. So if you want to try different forms and not just have paper or cardboard, use one of your uh, your old cans that you have. Uh, so awesome. Uh, so
awesome. Y'all taught me a new technique. Great, great. I'm so happy to you. Um, love you too, Marquetta. Hey. All right, all right. Make sure y'all, uh, uh, if any other colors are coming up to you, you know, go ahead and add those on there as well. We're going to take about like five more minutes to go ahead and uh, create the bottom layer of if you need additional time, feel free. This is your world. You take as much time as you need. Man, scratch art is a workout. I'm sweating. <laughs> the first song that y'all are hearing is entitled uh, You Are the One That I Adore. So I hope that y'all are really enjoying that as y'all get your scratch art on. for you to click on to listen to that music. again. Do you have a moment for that or do you want us to hold? Oh, oh sure. Go ahead. Okay, Doris, I'm going to ask to unmute you. Just hit yes and then you can speak. Just ask to unmute. Unmute. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hey, you two. Sending you much love and love to everybody else. I'm sorry. I, I can't get my sound to work on my main computer, but you, I got sound now, right? Okay, now what was it you wanted, Chanel and Tyria, beloved people? And you want some to read forms of meditation. Um, I was saying oh. you share yours that you could at that moment. Um, so, like, if you would like to share your your forms of meditation, uh, you can do so. You had brought something in the chat. Okay, I did. Like thank, thank you for including me, Vesley. People, what I wrote, I'm sure some of you saw it. What I wrote was I have many forms of meditation. One of them is Nina Simone, um, yeah. taking photographs, Nina Simone's music, sometimes meditating on her life. Being here in Cherokee homeland is a meditation in itself. I grew up here in the trees. The uh, I even took a picture of a spider web yesterday because it was covered in dew. It was so pretty. Anyway, writing poetry, dancing, singing, all of these things are meditation forms for me, and they are a part of my life. And uh, I put something else on the screen, but it's gone, so I can't remember. Also, I'm learning to play the dulcimer. Oh, nice, 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 nice forms of meditation. I definitely yeah. poetry. Yeah. All right, um, everyone, we can take about like two more minutes just to go ahead and get this bottom layer. If you already have, like, if you were one of the people that said, hey, I just want to like color one layer and just use my, my, my black one and white paper that I already have. Um, hey, you know, love the game. You're here. Ahead of everyone else. So let's go ahead and take like two more minutes. Try to get it. 
think they got purple in it. <laughs> uh, Makaya's niece would like to say something to Rhea and Chanel. What was that? Makaya's niece would like to say something. Oh, okay. Hi. Darker color, it's easier to cover it up. 
of meditation too. You can incorporate that in as well into your scratch chart. Yeah, and somebody said, uh, transfer art. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of times I also like to use wax paper. If you place wax paper on top of this, it's really not going to take the wax from the crayon away. Um, and that's an easy way to make a stencil as well. So, someone asked, could you use another color other than black? I'm going to use gray for my top layer. <laughs> Let's see what that brings up for us. And the music is still going. We have like five different like tracks. So like I said, I hope y'all are enjoying that. This is in honor of our anniversary and just us being a couple. Remember to hear the music, you have to listen to the live stream that is on the Roots website and the um, link has been dropped in the uh, chat box if you want to, if you can do both Zoom and live stream at the same time. We have a question in chat from Gigi. Could you explain the wax paper process again, please? Yeah, so like if you take a uh, freezer paper or wax paper, you could, uh, what I would do is I would have like my sculpture, here, right? And I would place my wax paper on the top and I would trace it and it's like transparent. So I would trace this image on my wax paper. Some people take hot glue, some people kind of roll it down. And so you can cut that out and let your hot glue actually put it onto the transfer paper. And once you have the image on the transfer paper, you can take an X-Acto knife or scissors and actually cut out the lines. Uh, when you get to that point, you can take the wax paper onto your scratch board and you would actually take whatever tool that you're using and just scratch right in where those lines are and you'll be able to pull out that uh, image. So I'm actually having a hard time with the gray, with the colors that I've selected, because I've selected some really bold colors. So I'm actually going to uh, try another color here. So if something is not working for you, yeah, go ahead and just try something else. This is a stress-free process. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And a lot of times, uh, you'll a lot of things will be revealed to you. Uh, in my second layer on top of my red. There's my blues and stuff on top of my red. And you can see my red kind of coming out under the purple here. And if you're having a hard time putting the top layer on, um, a lot of times I go diagonal. Then, uh, then I'll go down, so kind of like make a cross hatch, so you can like really compact that wax on top. Like I said, uh, crayon just broke and almost hit me in the chin, so this is one of those processes uh, that is fun, you know, it's kind of messy, and you're going to break some crayons in the process. But you go ahead and just, however you're feeling, you go ahead and uh, put that wax down with that energy, and then we're going to scratch it on out. You both have a comment in the chat from Azul Layer or Azul. I remember doing this in the 60s with several layers of colors on top of each other and they went up to six, seven layers. Yes. Most definitely. That's amazing. Seven layers. Yes. I want to try that now. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm thinking I'm going to go maybe put, maybe I'll put my black on top of my, la my second layers to try to get that look. That's a good idea. Yeah, and seven layers, if you if you do that many layers, that's going to be like great too, because when you're like scratching uh, your art out, if, if you're not like satisfied, you can just like add another layer back on top, right? Um, of crayon or acrylic paint, or however you're going about putting your layers on top to make your scratch board. And 
And like I said, this design that I created with the light bulb, um, everyone, you can feel free to use that design. Or if you have your own design in, uh, in mind, go ahead and rock out. An easy design to, to create for this is the, you take your utensil and kind of just let it just guide you. Um, and it becomes a really cool abstract piece. So just some, um, some ideas as you are preparing your boards. And uh, just so you know, here's another sketch as well. So the lines could be really, really detailed too. So in your sketches, feel free to, to be as detailed or, or not, you know? But you can put little bitty lines in there. And that's what we like to use toothpicks for, just to be very fun. It's 10.46. Go ahead and take about five more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and start scratching out our designs. Uh, finish, feel free to write what design you're thinking about, you know, share with everyone if you, if you would like, you can share what design or what poem or what words came up that you feel like would be inspiring, uplifting to anybody in this live stream today. Watchful eyes, plants, love it. So what colors resonate with you? I know we all associate with colors. Y'all have favorite colors that represent us. You can also put that in the chat. Why you chose the colors you chose. I told you I'm using red for power to feel empowered. Because uh, I haven't felt extremely empowered with COVID and felt like I was, you know, quarantine trapped. Um, and also with a lot of the stuff that's been going on and feeling helpless that you can't, you know, do certain things for um, the police brutality and, you know, Brianna and all the things that's been going on. So um, in the chat, go ahead and put up what colors are resonating with you and why you use those colors today. And Spirit also said that lipstick is much easier to cover grounds with the crayon. That's why. Yeah. Most definitely. And also uh, oil pastel. So uh, it kind of just like smears right on top and it's another layer of wax. So if you have oil pastels lipstick, go ahead and try those. Um, it is a lot easier to cover grounds. Um, I chose red because I'm colorblind to it. So oh. I get there is a mystery to it for me. Nice. Oh, red is a mystery. That's okay. Awesome. And is anybody else using any other type of forms of media besides like crayons or uh, like lipstick? I love this lipstick idea. I like ready to go to the dollar store and buy a bunch of different <laughs> lipsticks just to do that. <laughs> I am so proud. I was even thinking about nail polish when you said lipstick. I was like thinking, what if you put nail polish on top of like a crayon or something? So what different types of things you're using around the house or different type of uh, crayons and markers, what are you using on your scratch board? And Chanel, you have two more comments and Taria. Um, you have one from Azule, um, Camille Blue, of course. And then Doris says, um, colors are green, lots of green. And then purple jumped in and green is healing of trees, health and abundance. Yes. Have a page with blue, green, serenity. Nice. Red, fire, energy, blue, grounding, serenity. So we have here a uh, red, fire, energy, blue, uh, grounding, serenity. Nice. And like stated, if, if you at any point want to add those words to your scratch art, go ahead and do so. 
adding words to scratch art too kind of like makes it interesting. And here's my two layers. <laughs> Excuse me. My two layers here. I'm gonna go ahead and start scratching on top of my uh, two layers that I already have. So if you already have your layers set up, you can go ahead and start your scratch. I'm gonna go for something bigger, so I'm gonna use a quarter for my scratch. And a, a toothpick here. You can also use scissors. If you have scissors at home, please be careful. I would say use a knife, but please be careful. Right. Or a pen that doesn't work. That pen that's busted on you a hundred times. You can use a pen because we all know you can scratch with a pen. So I finished my board as well. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting that design on top of a just blank sheet of paper. And I'm going to put it here and sketch it out with my mechanical pencil. No lead, just the, just the utensil itself. And if you have tape, you could use that too to make that a bit easier, but I'm just going over those lines that I already have. And you'll start to see that they're coming up, but you want to like push down pretty hard, right? So as hard as you can in that wax, just to have a blueprint. And you just keep on going until you have your actual image here. And like I was saying, um, with the wax paper idea, a lot of times that's a little bit more easy if you're going to use a stencil. But hey, I'm always a person like, use what you have. It may be a little bit more tedious, but it shouldn't stop you from being able to create either. But if you want to, if you have wax paper, go ahead and use that. If you want to um, use it at a different time, hey, put it in your toolbox, put it in your art bag. <laughs> As you see, like it's just starting to etch away. And like some of the lines that may not be coming through, even if you have a small little blueprint of it. Oh, see, now it's starting to show up. Now I can actually go in here and clean up those lines, right? I can even take my toothpick and go through and clean those lines. Scratch it away. And this is like really therapeutic for me. Like this is one of the things that I do just to release. Aside from, you know, writing or any other disciplines that I, I use. I, I love to use scratch art as a way to express and release. And if you want to, you don't even have to use a stencil. You can just free, like just kind of like freely draw, freely design. So I'm gonna show you that you can do that as well. Now I'm gonna put my design back on there just so I can um, you know, line it up. I'm using my uh, toothpick here. And as you see, it's starting to pop up. And with this, this is why you'll be able to use it more than once. That's like pretty cool. With uh, freezer paper, it lasts a bit longer because paper over time is just going to start to tear. We have some some things in the chat. Yeah. So it says the bright blue didn't exit until Renaissance at the same time that 
Marie was recognized, and this is why Marie got bright blue dress Camille. So it is a feminist color. Nice. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, just kind of like go ahead and I made a circle here so I could put my light bulb on the inside and you can write reimagining. Like I said, you can use this design if you like. It's just really a grid, a circle with a circle on the inside of it and a light bulb that you can write my in cursive and it's like my idea of what reimagine is. Like, how can we reimagine? Like, what are your ideas about that? lipstick on top oh, nice. and it says love and I used a, pe a penny you used a penny yeah. I love yeah. that that's dope scrape it out so thank y'all no You're problem welcome. that is dope thank you for sharing love love if anybody else has a, a design that's already scratched out please share if you would like okay I'm spotlighting Tony right now and I'll go to the other to have it up so Tony nope. Um, I put, I had all these little teeny tiny samples of lipsticks left over from 30, 40 years ago, maybe, you know, I'm an archivist, oh. I save everything. And so, um, I made the topper. It's a little bit messy to do with little lipsticks, but now I'm going to scratch. Nice. Nice. I like, it looks like watercolors almost, or like acrylic paint with the, with the, um, the lipstick. Yeah. The blue, the blue is the acrylic, and oh, okay. I let it dry, and then I spread the lipstick over. That's Actually, nice. I kind of like it like it is without scratches. I do like yeah. it without the scratches, though. I like that. Hey, you, you'll find out that even in this process, just laying colors down, uh, just layers of, of color, that's art is as well. It almost looks like the art that we have behind us. Okay, I have Alicia Araya up on spotlight. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. Did you smear any of that? It looks nice. I like that. Oh, what, what is your design? Um, I, and they're in a public place, so they're not going to use their mic right now. Oh, but okay. Maybe um, in the chat, they can um, write that in the chat. Okay, cool. Yeah. And what type of um, what did, what type of uh, stuff did you use? You use crayons? You use colored pencils for that? With the paint? Could you write that in the chat? Crayon. Crayon. Yeah. Cool. Paper, paper clip. clip. Paper yeah. clip. That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, your design is that? Oh, and it's on the back of a book, like in, inside of a book. Oh, nice. That's nice. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Yes. Let's go. Is, is that an I? Yes. Nice, nice. Let's go. Cool, cool. Anybody else have anything they want to share? And a tree. An eye flower. Nice. That's dope. And if you if you want to share it, it uh, you can also just share like words that came up, colors that came up, anything that uh kind of like revealed itself to you while you were meditating. 
Okay, I spotlighted Doris. Doris has something. Oh, that's dumb. You got a whole phone. Is that a phone? I'm, yes. Are you going to share? I'm just sharing what I tried to get started with. I'm trying to follow the steps. And it started like this. Layers, the layers, and then the layers went into one. And then, yes, words. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I love that. Drawing a whole poem on top. <laughs> and if you are doing a light bulb design, I'm going to just show you like uh, quickly here how I kind of go about doing it. You, uh, uh, you have had something up. You don't want it anymore, you do? Yes? Oh, oh no. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that a balloon? I like that you made a border around yours. Right. I like the border. I like the border. This book art is really, really cool. Like y'all are giving us ideas. Here's my my power scratch art. I know power spell backwards to y'all, but <laughs> that's my empowerment scratch art. And I'm going to make a little bit of details around my word power. Anybody else have one that they want to share? We have Paige up now. Oh, I love all these different blues. Oh, is that oh, wow. licorice? Like a palm tree? I love the detail of oh, that wow. uh, flower that you have. That is beautiful. Is it? Is it a flower? That's very detailed. I love that. Love that. Paige, what did you use uh, for your your scratch board? Uh, that they almost could smell the, the plants. Right? Like through coffee pot. <laughs> nice. That's a that's a good reason to go ahead. Like self-care everyone. Um you need to go get some coffee or some water in the middle of your scratch, feel free. Kelsey, did you have something? No? Okay. We've got about 10 more minutes to complete and share any of your scratch art. know we're all at home with our children and whatnot hey get them some crayons and you know uh, scratch hard and no put another layer on there that'll keep them busy for a while <laughs> and then that can also make beautiful art prints go on your refrigerator or on your wall or in your office makaya were you trying to show us something yeah okay <laughs> that's what i like to okay so my sisters know that I, I am not good at art. I am a fashion person, but I try to do the best I can. Um, <laughs> let's see. Jenny, you want to show yours too? Yeah. Okay, so this is Jenny's. Come on, Jenny. Uh, so yeah, we are, so Jenny. We're going through, we, we're going with the scary movie theme. <laughs> nice, nice. And I said, 
He said, sis, that um, <laughs> fashion is art. Fashion is art. Agreed. Most definitely is art. Most well, definitely. Yeah. Let me scratch this out a little bit. Okay, now it's done. Okay, so this is mine. And I was going with like the, the eerie type thing. I was backwards. It says Kai. It's, it's like, it's, it's like in a, a like a, a bis type thing, like with the the edges and then it's like darker and it's like me in the middle. Okay, I like that you picked the blues. I like the blues. I see a lot of people picking a lot of blues today. Raw this is actually purple. Nice. This is this was actually a purple. Oh, is it? Yeah, and I put it on top of a blue, and it made like a dark blue. Oh. Yeah. And then this is this is Tamika's. She says she Barney. You can't really see it, but it says Jenny. It. it says Jenny. Oh, I see. I see the imprint of it. It says what? Jenny. Jenny. Nice, nice. Great work, y'all. Great work. Yeah. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to Spirit. Spirit is showing us the artwork again. Right there, we go. Spirits up. Oh, okay. Just adding more energy towards love, you know. Oh yes, and I love all the colors that are popping out underneath. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I like I like this design that you have created here. Thank this you. Is, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is now. really fun. I remember doing this as a kid, so thank you for reminding me of this um, simple yet super uh, incredible art form. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing this with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, Zach says that they have one. I'm coming to you, Zach. Spotlight, you're on. Oh, wow. That's nice. I like it with the black and the different colors. Yeah, I didn't get as much contrast as I wanted, but I've got, this is a, a Ross Gay poem that I really like, where here's a, a foot being washed in the, in the river. Oh, okay, I see that. Flower with throwing off this tree and, and just a million stars. Nice. And kind of um, releasing his like internal um like habit of being you know it's about the puritan of me i'm really awesome. i really like the uh, details in your design um if you want to add a bit more contrast you can take um like another scratching utensil something like a coin or popsicle stick just to like go ahead and pull out those lines that you want but like great work kelsey is up there we go Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 That. You see, there's a sun. All praise to the sun, always. I love the sun. <laughs> yeah. I'm still working on it, but there's a sun and then a, a moon and star inside. And my original design was kind of um, like the rays of light from all those things interconnecting in the ways they wanted to. So, like in this time where it's hard to, you know, physically connect, but kind of just that freedom to flow and connect. I love that. Hey. The sun and the moon and the stars. Y'all are really creative with these designs. I've got a little bit more detail around my power. Y'all can see my detail that I've been trying to kind of scratch around power. I kind of lost some of my, my P here and my layers. I'm trying to do red on top of red, but Looking a little pinkish, actually, but still. <laughs> and uh, I am uh, working mine out right here. The grid, the light bulb. Anybody else want to share? Just so y'all know, this is something that y'all can most definitely do 
outside of this workshop. Anytime. I, I encourage you. Need a moment of release. If you just want to like put some fine art up on your wall, pull out scratch art. It is accessible with whatever you have. You know, you can do this with um, minimal supplies. Oh, we have somebody. Lisa. Oh. Hey y'all, can you see? Oh! It's a beat. Be with. Be with. I love that. And I love uh, how the board is cut out. What How's is it? that? What are you using? What is that, um, the border? Just a piece of a, a box. I think a cereal box. Nice. Love it. Recycle, reduce, reuse, so we can save the planet. Right. <laughs> Love that. Do you have anybody else that would like to share? <clears throat> and I just keep on scratching. Just keep scratching, y'all. I know we have about probably about five more minutes and then we're going to do our closing. Spirit is sharing once again. Yeah. Oh, you cut it out. Nice. You going to frame it? I'm a, well, maybe I'm going to put it on my fridge though to just oh, remind yeah. me. Love. That and I appreciate awesome. you all and your demonstration of love today and sharing your anniversary with us because you could certainly have been doing something else. So thank you. Well, thank but you. I appreciate you and I'm glad to be here. You definitely are. And um, just that in the middle of your board too, that's a reminder for everyone. Love. So thank you for sharing that. That's an affirmation. All right, love. Love with a day. <laughs> hey. It's like love, <laughs> love, love. <laughs> Where you said sending more energy towards love. Right. Thanks, y'all. A few more minutes. I'm just scratching it out here. Like I said, sometimes it may take a little extra time, but no rush. If you did not finish today, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just take like how many more minutes? Like two, two, three more minutes. Um, Gonna take about like two to three more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and close out and if anybody in this time would like to go ahead and share your design if you have not had a chance go ahead and do so if you want to write in the chat or even unmute yourself to talk about how this uh meditation has like benefited you anyway you can do that as well um feel free to share however you see fit And even your toothpick may break, so, you know. <laughs> but. All right, put those final little pieces on your design. Like I said, feel free to go ahead and write anything on your scratch art too. You have a few comments in the chat. Uh, so Kelsey says, this has been an awesome workshop. Paige says, sending you both a virtual anniversary toast. Thank you so much for this. Here with my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tony says, I don't recommend lipstick as it is smeary and doesn't gel. So it's always messy. It smells oh. good. Mel says, love y'all. This is so good. Love you. Thank you. And Gigi says, a really lovely group project. Deep gratitude and appreciation for this experience. Watching everyone enjoy themselves was just so uplifting. Yes. And Raven, awesome. heart. Can I talk, please? 
Doris wants to talk. <laughs> Go ahead, Doris. Thank you. I can't, I can't type very well on this iPad. It falls over. So I want to just say love to you two. I can't help it. You are filling my heart up. You know you are two of my roots children. And I'm sitting here saying, look at them go. Look at them. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Thank you for sending us that love. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I was inspired by, uh, I forgot who drove the sun, drew the sun. I think it was Kelsey. You inspired me to put the sun over my power because I feel like, the sun brings us power. It grows our food. It brings us vitamins. It brings us nutrients. So I, you, you inspired me to do more sun on top of my power. Thank you for that. Nice, nice. Azule also wants to speak. Azule, if you can unmute yourself. Uh, for, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you ask us to think of the time without coronavirus. And, uh, and I just realized that I have been so much in it that it's difficult now to go back to a time where we will not be on the coronavirus. So uh, th this is ve very good because it really made me realize and I must not stay in these things. You know, I have to really, I know that there is another time coming. So that's very helpful. That's very, you know, hopeful. Thank you. You're no welcome. Problem. We have to have hope in this time. This is not the end. This too shall pass, right? And we have overcome, we shall overcome, we continue to overcome. So this is just one of those things, but we will persevere and keep it moving. You know, of course, we want to be safe and everything like that. But this is, it's just a part, uh, a little bump in the road right now. But we're resilient as a community and as a people. So yeah, I'm glad that this could be a reminder that sometimes it may seem like it's a bit hopeful. I mean, uh, you're a little helpless, but always remind yourself to be hopeful, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what's going on around you. So uh, this is definitely, along with y'all designs and the ones that I've like come with, it's just, you know, it's a great uh, reminder, just sometimes the light, like Chanel said, with the sun, with the light, your ideas, your innovations, let that be your guide sometimes to community. Um, and, and just sharing this space today has been a way of community remembrance, <laughs> community work to uplift us all. So I appreciate y'all so much. In the chat, I have put a link up to my music video that my love here uh, killed it with the, the film, <laughs> but it's entitled Feel Good. So that's just another affirmation to remind y'all to feel good. Um, and that's something that we have the power to do, you know, at any moment, feel good. You got the power, yeah. feel good, y'all. Maria and Chanel, we have Marie that wants to share right quick. Do you have time? Yeah, sure, sure right. I'm spotlighting you now, Marie. Um, I don't know if you can see, here, let me put this on, kind of light here. Oh, oh wow. wow. So I thought of, um, it's kind of a combination of both. Like it's like, it's, I've been going on a lot of walks by the river. So like, this is the Crescent city connection. And there's a spot that I like to take sort of, I prop my camera up and I like to take selfies and it's sort of a way of like marking, like how I change through the years and through different seasons. And I used marker on the background and then I, um, and then the the a crepe on top, and it was so thick, it was really kind of seeping into everything. And I was like, well, what if I just try to erase all of it? Then the color it'll kind of still have like some cloudiness and whatnot. So I used a paper towel to kind of like wipe out, and it kind of pressed some of it in too. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for this. This was great. The inky fingers. That was amazing. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. That was amazing. I love that. Everybody has so much talent on here. Is there anybody else that would like to share uh, before we close out of this workshop today? Uh, 
All right. Well, if not, I, I want to um, express to everybody, it is important that we all use our different forms of meditation. Um, and it doesn't always have to be just sitting down with your eyes closed, being quiet. Sometimes your form of meditation could be loud, like music or playing music or in visual art and scratch work. And in this time, meditation and grounding yourself is very important. And also sharing that with people. You don't always have to meditate by yourself. Look, we're a group of 30 people meditating here together and sharing love and energy together. So please remember to ground yourself, especially in this time, at any time, but especially in this time where we're all, like you said, separated from each other and um, really wishing that we were all here. So virtual hugs to everybody. <laughs> all right well, well this has been vibe and scratch with Taria person the realest person and my love Chanel. thank y'all so much i know at the end um we're supposed to be having a drumming session is that correct wendy yeah yeah we're gonna have some drumming but let me just first uh thank you uh chanel and taria thank you um all our friends over here it was really nice to be with to be ever with everybody today uh, i want to give gratitude and affirmation to all the presenters feeling a lot of gratitude to the tech team to the bunch of linguas for holding down interpretation to all the root staff thank you thanks everybody who put comments and affirmations in the chat that felt really good to be together with y'all um, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back at 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time for a workshop with Spirit House. Protect your vote, protect your legacy. That's at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. And please check your daily email for details. Um, if you haven't been receiving the daily emails, you may not be officially registered. So you got to register at the Eventbrite link on the live stream page. We appreciate you. We'll see you back at two. Thank you so much. This was so nice. Um, and I think we're going to the video now, right? Thanks, y'all. And I want to say thank you to Zach and Spirit. Thank you so much for bringing us in to this space so, so beautifully this morning. And thank you to Lisa for stepping up as host today. I appreciate and all of you for sharing your beautiful creations with us today. Thank you. And I... Uh, Juice box. If we don't have the drumming video, maybe we can cue up the um, the video that Taria and Chanel shared. The feel good, and I can drop it back in the chat. It's it's in the chat. And we'll hop over to the live stream to watch and hear that. And uh, juice box, if we don't have. Yeah, it's the realest, uh, feel good, feel, don't this beat make you feel good, deep breath then it feels good, from your chest then it feels good, no stress just feel good, don't this beat make you feel good, deep breath then it feels good, from your chest then it feels good, no stress just feel good. Change the internal dialogue Peace and confidence for all my alma In the hood, bring it back now, yeah Let them know we're intact now, yeah No unnecessary arguments, no Got the keys, unlock the problems then Self-accountability, all I'm saying Stop, stop, all that complaining We all got excellence, huh? Know that shit
it, get that leverage Essence on them present, bit. I'm stepping out of dreaming Telling for my second guessing, so I'm blessing mics Whoever want a portion, yeah, I'm flipping pipes Sacrificing strife with words from the wise Will not be televised Text around us with more than your eyes Looking through your skies and it feels good Don't this beat make you feel good No stress and it feels good Chest and it feels good. Don't this beat make you feel good? Deep breath and it feels good. No stress and it feels good. From your chest and it feels good. Internet, y'all know how this happens. You ain't gotta know everything. Got Embrace and comfortability. Shift change from so the pain. All the fitness gets the team. Chest and it feels good. Delve into abundance in order to sustain your health and yourself, which is your wealth. Can you feel that vibrations like peace, love, power, joy is contact? Oh, what an impact! All right, thanks y'all. Let's give it up one more time for Taria and Chanel. Thanks y'all, we'll see you back here. At two. It's a different link in your Check Your Daily email. There's a different link. If for some reason you don't have the link for the Spirit House uh, Protect Your Legacy, Protect Your Vote workshop, email us at rootsweek at alternateroots.org and we'll make sure you get the link for that. All right, thanks y'all, see you later.